Happy Sunday. Um, it is Sunday today. Today's a very special day. For two people in my life. Well, one is still alive, the other one's not. It is my grandpa's and my uncle's birthday today, so happy birthday to my uncle and grandpa, Uncle Curtis, and Grandpa Randall. Happy birthday to both of you guys. I love you and I miss you so much. We come today and today's Sunday lesson. We're gonna pray before we do this. But today's lesson is a topic. My husband got this in the mail yesterday, and he's always doing these, and he reads them, you know, and he, he, he you knows them still. And today's lesson is going to be, in God we no longer trust. So, that's going to be our lesson. He told me I should do this with the lesson, it's a good story. So, we're going to do that. Um, Let's pray before... We do this. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer. I pray that you help those in need of help. Give them out what they need help and help them out. And for those who are sick, I pray for my cousin. Um, I was told that she has COVID. And I pray that she gets better because she has some young ones. Um, so pray we get well. Um, I pray for anybody that's sick to get well, and yesterday, my, me and my dog were sick, and I want to pray that my dog and I don't get sick again off of something we ate. We have food poisoning, and I hope today will be a good day for everybody, and I pray for my husband's back to get well. And for those who need prayer, I pray for anybody who needs prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, in God we no longer trust. The traffic congresses of the Vista Disbelief. Okay. Mm. Sorry about that. The shocking event of the year 2020 led many to worry and wonder, as if never before, what is happening to America and the West. How could the world's most powerful and precious nation suddenly bust into flames and killing riots and torching buildings, looting stores, and t taking over positions of the cities in ordinary cities, fearful to their lives? How could the nation respect around the world for the political systems? find itself in sharply divided with patterns on each side forming convinced that others was weak in the nation. So basically a lot of people now I don't know if this is true or not but I've heard a lot of people are saying everybody knows that God's going to come back to earth and he's going to take over the world again. And this pandemic we're having right now with COVID, I'm not going to say if it is or isn't at all. But maybe this is God's way of telling us to put on our big girl and big boy panties and underwear and grow up. And start taking action for ourselves instead of going out doing drugs, getting high, getting drunk, killing people grow up and get him in your life instead of all this other stuff. I know a lot of people, I know, because I was one of them that did it back then. I worshipped the music on the block. Still love music on the block. They were all over my wall, and I worshipped him. Kind of like you would worship God. Well, I worship God, but I worship him too. The trend, when you follow a trend with somebody, if somebody made a million dollar dress, and you say, oh, I want to make a dress with a million dollars. So you want to make the same dress that's only copying somebody and trending of what somebody else does. So it's like on YouTube and you see a lot of people. And if they start ragging on this lip balm and saying how good this lip balm is, which it is good, don't get me wrong. And then you go and see in a lot of people, it is a trend. Okay, it is okay 
to trim a lip balm or a piece of makeup or trim food. If somebody says, oh, I like this barbacoa tacos, and you go, I'm going to learn how to make barbacoa tacos and make barbacoa tacos and eat it as a trend. But that's good. But you don't want to sit here. If you're watching, like, yeah, this shirt that I'm wearing, if somebody else made this shirt, this shirt was made by No Boundaries. Somebody else looks at that and says, I'm going to make that exact same shirt. That's probably No Boundaries. And that is wrong. Common a recipe. It's okay if you're cooking it, but if you're going to copy a recipe and put your name on it and say, I made this, this is my recipe, not the recipe. Like if you took a Betty Crocker recipe and you said, oh, this is my recipe, not Betty Crocker's recipe, that is a felony, but it's also a trend and it's bad to do that. On a larger scale, why have other nations seen their own versions of the United States? It's interesting why the Democrats around the world built on western values erupting the flames and the violence one has shattered the social engineering nations one admire for their stability i don't like a biden and i never will i'm always going to be for trump i did vote for obama and i realized he was doing a sh shitty job, crappy job, and I didn't like what he was doing, but I hate to say this about Biden, for those who voted for Biden, y'all are just as bad as he is, because our nation's fixing to be sh on shutdown, lockdown, they've already got bars closing, you gotta, you're opened up, and you gotta be shut down the bars at 10 o'clock, can't open the bars, can't be open after 10 o'clock. I mean, that makes me happy because I don't drink. Probably other people are happy, but a lot of people want to get out and just after work and have a beer. And some people don't get out of work until almost about that time because they work in an office and they're working hard. There's a lot of things that's going down. I mean, Biden wants to kill God's children. And if, and if you're an honest to God, true Christian, you would be against that totally. I know I am. I thought about it when I had my first son. I was thinking of, you know, I gotta keep this baby. I can't afford this baby. I was gonna have an abortion. No. My mom told me the dolphins don't believe in abortions. You can give it up for an adoption, but you're not gonna ban that baby. So I took care of him. He's good. Few today seem the real corrections between the growing of social chagos and the federal changes we have transferred in the Western world over the least civil countries. Let along the rapid changes of the least few debates, although ha we have experienced incredible Russian understanding. The easy of global travel and development of computers and internet. The most profound charges in the Western world have involved that people believe as seen with the rises of sarcasm. And what the Holy Biblical. Oh. Okay. In what has hysterically been refused. To as Christ, Tenjo, Christ, not Christ, um, <laughs> Chris Tenjo, and with growing debates about God and the Bible. This has led the petition declines of Jericho Christianity cultures and the reaction of the monetary strong influence by the Bible. A monetary that formed the pinnacle of Western civilization very found and revealed civilization very is the question and crucial charges work to hear is important within. Alright. For Democrats. I don't think Democrats believe in the Bible. 
Because if they did, they would be thinking about the bad things and the bad choices they're making. To think they're going to make this world a better place. But they know they're not. They're not going to make this world a better place. Because the more things that they do on this earth, the worse it's going to be. So if they want this world to be better, they need to start thinking about how to make this world a better place. Because it, it, it's like, you know, many today have been taught that political mortality can be cast aside without con consent. This is a short sight of dangerous view. Okay, and we're getting in here, still getting in here, talking about in God we do not no longer trust. Um Okay. So I got to hold on a second. Okay, that's it and on the first person. In Jeremiah 16, 11 through 13. And these just the awkward sign of a much bigger problem. God threw Jeremiah telling the graduation problem. Um, no, sorry. The gravitation waiting on a little to do with him. That their father may have been distracted by other gods and various small religion ideas. But you have done worse than your father. For behold, each one fellow in the base of his own evil heart, so that no one listens to me. Therefore, we call you out the land into the land that you do not know. And we get in here too, or they. 8, 7, as it says, the sobering assessment of modern Western culture contains echoes in sobbing, warning God, silence in ancient, and show the winds. He says in ridiculous department of Israel and wrap the wind. We get into Jeremiah 34, verses 7. The prophet Jeremiah looked ahead and saw times of trouble for the Israelites. The sinnings that the world dwarf of any other period in the history is suffering. But, okay, but he saw too that the Israelites would in chain be actually saved out for it at Jesus Christ returning to earth and setting up kingdoms of God. Lessons of histories and clears in the traffic the cleansers disbelieve and no nation or people can afford to give up their trust in their creator. In God we trust. Must be more than stolen on a nation on a nation of apparently Sadly, in modern Israelites, nations of the west of the foreign, that there is a God who makes nations great and destroys them. Jacob 12, 23 through 25. That he removes kings and raises up the kings. And we get into Daniel 2, 20 through 22. And that he still rules the kingdoms of the men and gives it however he chooses. Daniel 4, 25. But you need to make the same mistakes. You need, and you can understand those powerful lessons and provide for what is coming in just a day ahead.
I want to say what I am going to say, actually. Is maybe this pandemic is God coming to take over the world. Maybe God's here and he's taking over the world. And this is how he's doing it, by giving us the coronavirus. We don't know that, and nobody else knows that. I'm going to end this lesson in this and whatnot. So, my dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting me provide this lesson. And if you are trying to take over the world, which I don't think you are, but if you are, can you make it a better place? And for those who have committed crimes and done wrong, you can punish them a more different way than this. God, we love you. And we want this world to be safe and a better place. We don't mind people carrying guns as long as they're not killing people. Only hunting for food. I don't mind. I just wish all the drug addicts and all the wheelers and dealers would be gone. And those committing crimes would be gone. Not gone out of the earth, but, you know, I want more people, God, to understand you better. And to become in your heart. And Lord, please take your foot and shove it up O Biden's butt and make him do right and not wrong. He's trying to kill your children. He really is. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So. If you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. I do do a Sunday lesson. Last Sunday, I don't think I did a last Sunday lesson because I was sick. Um, my husband stayed home today because his back was hurting. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do this lesson. But I've been studying it, working on this lesson. And I knew it had to be good. Alright guys, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of more videos coming up. Till next time, guys, I love you. Lord, I love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.